Captain. You have my ear, citizen.
This is a holdup. Hand it over or die. We can play it that way if you like. Ah! Yes? Can I help you? He's upstairs. Go ahead. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? This cannot be. No one but the Emperor is permitted to handle the amulet. Let me see it. By the Nine, this is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. The Prince of Destruction he referred to is none other than Merun's Dagon, one of the lords of the demonic world of Oblivion. The Emperor's words, close shut the jaws of Oblivion, certainly suggest that he perceived some threat from Oblivion. But all the scholars agree that the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. I'm not sure. 
Only the emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The amulet of kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the emperor was aware of. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now, it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. The coronation of each new emperor is sealed when he uses the Amulet of Kings to light the dragon fires in the Temple of the One. The dragon fires of Akatosh remain lit until the death of the emperor. His successor then lights them anew upon ascending to the throne. With Emperor Uriel dead and no successor crowned, the Temple of the One will be dark for the first time in centuries. Yes, Boris told you right. I am the Grand Master of the Blades. We serve the Emperor and the Septim bloodline. Talos is our patron. You wonder to find me here? Discretion is our watchword. Only a few of us have the honor to serve publicly in the Imperial Guard. One of the youngest Blades ever to serve in the Emperor's personal guard. I am glad to hear that he survived, but I fear he will take the Emperor's death particularly hard. He is a priest in the chapel of Akatosh in Kvach. He never knew that he was Uriel Septim's son. You need to find him at once and bring him safely back here. The Daedra Prince of Destruction, an inveterate foe of all mortal races. He was involved with Jaegar Thahn's plot against the Empire years ago. It doesn't surprise me to find his hand in the current calamity. I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. Your first priority now should be to find Martin and bring him back here. The Elder Council rules in the Emperor's absence by ancient tradition. Chancellor Akato heads the Elder Council and is the closest thing the Empire has to a leader right now. But the Blades answer only to the Emperor, of course. We are not an arm of the government. It will be safest here with me. 
When you return with Martin, we will figure out our next move. Waste no time. You must find Martin before the enemy does. 